So the cast iron's only been around for two or three years, right? And but they just started brunch this year, which, just a few weeks ago. Just a yeah, like two months ago, let's say. Yeah, I, that sounds about right to me. Mm-hmm. And cast iron came along. All I knew was the people who owned Abracadabras bought the cellar, mm-hmm. and and it's no longer the people from Abracadabras, mm-hmm. but Trevor Whitey mm-hmm. uh, and Jared and oh Vanya. Uh-huh. One of your old co-workers. Oh, I love Vanya so much. She's my favorite. They do an amazing job. So I had- And Marin. Don't forget Marin. And Marin. We've had her a couple of times. Marin's She's fantastic. Best. She is. Yeah. Always ask for her table if you can. Yes. Tell and her t- we sent you. And tip her fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we, um, and I know the cast iron isn't for everybody. I, You know, they, they have a $100 tomahawk steak. You Worth know, it. <laughs> it's it's sort of like the Teton House in Manan, and do they have one in Blackfoot now too? Do they? I think so. Now we've never I, been to. the I Teton hope they House, right? hear it. We have not yet. Okay. I hope they hear this and they invite us. Or we'll just go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, but I'm saying what I hope. <laughs> so, <laughs> so back to Cast Iron. Um, they they just have an amazing. Everything they do is good. You can't go wrong. You really can't. Man, sometimes they do this beef stroganoff. Yeah. Oh, that just warms your soul. It's so good. So we've been a couple of times. Once I had the ahi sandwich. Oh, it's so good. Ahi and avocado. Ah- ahi is just the perfect protein, isn't it? Sushi grade ahi. And you only care if it's been seared oh, on yeah. the sides and that's it. Mm-hmm. So tender. And it doesn't leave a heavy feeling in your stomach like steak. Mm-hmm. But it's just fantastic. Doesn't so even, good. Doesn't taste like fish in the least bit. The other time I had something called the croque monsieur, mm-hmm. but I got the uh, poached egg on the side, which makes it a croque madame. I don't know. <laughs> I I don't understand American genders enough. I certainly don't understand French genders, but they were both fantastic. <laughs> it's all French to you? <laughs> it is. <laughs> I love that. They're Greek. No. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's, that's it's, the correct It's all thing. an indecipherable language to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> none of it's American. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, <Merca. laughs> um, Now, I like to do the Eggs Benny anytime I get brunch somewhere. Yes. Uh, it, it's kind of like you and your Italian sub anytime you go to a sandwich shop. Yes. I like to test out the Eggs Benny. And I got that one time, and then I also got their... Oh gosh, oh, what was it I had last you time? You got the frittata. Yes, which the is caprese my, frittata. Yeah, that's my second favorite <gasps> kind of tata. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it was so good. And I also got like the sourdough bread on the side with this blueberry jam that they made in-house. Huckleberry, wasn't it? Huckleberry, I think yeah, you're right. Oh my gosh, it was so good. We'll throw the menu up on the screen so you can check it out and drool. Mm-hmm. But I highly recommend. My mouth is salivating. <laughs> In fact, it was so great that Sunday brunch at Cast Iron on 17th, you are IFAF this week. So Chris Pie 5, 21 finger gun pew, salute, pew. and a chef's kiss to you. <laughs> well done. And a quick suggestion, if you want to be a little naughty... Get the loaded Bloody Mary because it's like a drink and an appetizer <laughs> all in one. I can't believe there's like three different skewers. <laughs> so many. Sh- one shrimp. Has, yeah, shrimpies and cocktail onions and cheese. Oh, my yeah. favorite. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> so good. Yeah. It's- <laughs>